We're going to talk about uh, the tangent sum and difference formulas here in this video. We're going to figure out where they come from. And so that's the task for here is it says derive tangent of a plus b and tangent of a minus b using the sum and difference identities for sine and cosine. I missed a space there. Sorry about that. Um, so I've got these identities here. And what we're going to do is figure out what's tangent of a plus b. So uh, tangent, as we know from before, is tangent of any angle, theta, is sine of theta over cosine of theta. And so if we have tangent of an angle that is a plus b, then we can just do the same idea. We can do sine of a plus b over cosine of a plus b. And then if you notice, we have those, oops, let's grab an eraser here. We have the sine and cosine addition identities right there. And so we're just going to write that like it says there. So sine of a plus b is going to be sine of a times cosine of b plus cosine of a times sine of b all over cosine addition. So cosine of a cosine of b minus sine a sine b. So the next step may not be super obvious, and I'll try to explain later why we do this. But for now, what I'm going to say is we are just going to divide. There, so if, if you notice, there are really four things here. There's sine a, cosine b, cosine a, sine b. There's cosine a, cosine b, and sine a, sine b. And those four things are separated by a, a plus and a minus sign, and two of them are on top, two are on bottom. What we're going to do is we're going to divide everything by cosine a times cosine b. And like I said, this may not be super obvious to you, and I'll explain at the end why we chose to do that. So I'm going to rewrite this thing with everything being divided by cosine a, cosine b. Basically, so in order to make sure that we're doing a legit uh, algebra step, what we're doing is we're multiplying the top by 1 over cosine a, cosine b, and we're also multiplying the bottom by 1 over cosine a, cosine b, and this ends up distributing into everything. So you're really multiplying by 1, just kind of this weird version of 1. Well, you can think of it as dividing by cosine a, cosine b. All right, let's get back to this. So sine a, cosine b over cosine a, sine b. Oh, sorry, I said that wrong. Cosine a, cosine b. I'm dividing by both cosine a and cosine b. Plus, and then this number 2 up here, cosine a, I'm not super proud of what I did here. These should be lowercase. It should be consistent with what I had. A and B. There we go. A and B. Okay. So cosine A sine B over cosine A cosine B. All of that. Scroll down a little bit here. And then we have this number 3 down here, cosine A, cosine B over cosine A, cosine B. Minus the number 4 stuff, sine A, sine B over cosine A, cosine B. Cosine A cosine b. There we go. Okay, so it looks like we made this a lot worse, which kind of did, but we'll see why this is helpful in just a moment here. 
Uh, we want to cancel out anything that's in common. So cosine b's we can cancel out there. Cosine a's we can cancel out. We've got cosine a's and cosine b's that can cancel out there. And so what we're left with is sine a over cosine a, which is sine over cosine is tangent, so this is tangent of a, plus sine b over cosine b, which is tangent of b, all over, this stuff is all canceled out, so we can just write that as a 1. And then we have sine a over cosine a, which is tangent a, tangent a, and then sine b over cosine b, which is tangent b. So this would be our tangent of a plus b identity. So a couple minutes ago I said, why are we dividing by this? cosine a, cosine b for everything, well, if I know that tangent of anything is sine divided by cosine, if I divide everything by cosine of both a and b, I'm either going to cancel out some cosines and, and, uh, of a and b, or I'm going to create some tangents. And so the idea is we want tangent of a plus b to be in terms of all tangents. So that's why we divide it by that. All right, so that's tangent of a plus b. Let's do the same thing for tangent of a minus b. And it'd be pretty much the same idea. This time we're going to be using sine and cosine. This would be an excellent time for you to pause the video, see if you can figure out, you know, kind of the same process as what we did before, see if you can figure out on your own, and then check at the end and see if you got the same thing. So this would be... Uh, tangent is sine over cosine, so it would be sine of A cosine of B minus cosine of A sine of B. So I'm doing the top one, and then over cosine, which is cosine A cosine B plus sine A sine B. All right, same idea. We're going to divide everything by that so that we can cancel out some sines and cosines and then end up with just tangents. So it'll be sine A cosine B over cosine A cosine B, not sine. minus cosine A sine B over cosine A cosine B. All of this over cosine A cosine B over cosine A cosine B plus sine A sine B over cosine A, cosine B. All right, so it's it's basically the same thing that we did before with the plus, just now we're doing the subtraction identities. So the cosine B's cancel out, the cosine A's cancel out, the cosine A's and cosine B's cancel out, and what we're left with is up here we have, I forgot the A there, uh, sine of A over cosine A would be tangent A minus sine of B over cosine B would be tangent B over 1 plus sine A over cosine A is tangent A and sine B over cosine B is tangent B. So you could, and this is this so this is tangent of a minus b. So what you could do is in your little toolbox of trig identities, add tangent of a plus b and tangent of a minus b into your toolbox. So this is just the derivation of what tangent of a plus b and tangent of a minus b would be.